the story of Clairview Narcisse. Born in the year 1922, Haitian Clairview Narcisse is one of the earliest reported cases of a zombie. Narcisse spent 18 years away from his village after being confirmed dead and buried. It is alleged that a curse was placed on Mr. Narcisse by a powerful bokor, which is a Haitian term for a voodoo sorcerer. The bokor reportedly beat up Mr. Narcisse and rubbed the potion which contained a mixture of tetrodotoxin found in pufferfish venom and bufotoxin found in toad venom into his wounds. This potion was used to induce a coma which closely resembles death. Mr. Narcisse had arrived at Albert Schweitzer Hospital on April 30, 1962 after going through a bout of illness which included a fever and a strange sensation of insects crawling on his skin. These symptoms seem to have been brought on by the potion. He survived for merely two days after being admitted as on May 2, 1962, he was pronounced dead according to doctors at the hospital. The Bukor allegedly dug up Mr. Narcisse's body after his funeral to begin the process of transforming him into a zombie. This process involved administering a paste made from the plant Datura. Datura is a toxic plant which has a hallucinogenic effect and is known to cause memory loss. Mr. Narcisse, now fully transformed, was taken to the Bukor sugar plantation and added to the fleet of other zombies he had already owned. The Bokor administered regular doses of the potion to ensure that Mr. Narcisse would never awake from his zombie state. Mr. Narcisse remained a zombie for two years and was freed from the curse only after the Bokor died. Mr. Narcisse became estranged from his family for 18 years after actually finding out that his brother was behind his ordeal as they had a quarrel over land. It is alleged that Mr. Narcisse was punished because he broke a traditional behavioral code. Upon returning to his family, Mr. Narcisse told everyone about his tale of being a zombie.